Well, everyone, we did it. I'm sorry I didn't record it on screen, but we took out the Patriot Front. It was actually, well, as much as I bitch and moan about it sometimes, uh, pushing through New England was a pain in the butt, but when we got back to Boston, and then got, like, New Haven, and then they capitulated. So, luckily we only needed New England because they are a bunch of assholes to beat, but whatever. Um, we beat, beat them, it was much easier than I thought up here. It just was a giant freaking mess. But as you can see, this is, uh, and we're going to war now with the uh, League of the South. Um, it shouldn't be that bad of a problem, but you know what? I was wrong about the Patriot Front. Um, so, we'll see. Um, economic populism is what we're up to next. Uh, the economic problems of a country cannot be understood by some elitist liberal academics. Only the common people of the country can understand what needs to be done with the American economy. Being the people who represent them, we shall properly listen to their demands. New policies and reforms regarding the economy will be based off what is popular with voters and the citizenry. If we listen to them and give them what they want, then they'll, they'll never go wrong in their eyes. We're democracy, after all, and listening to the will of the people is what we're supposed to do. And there are quite a few comments for us to go down the center route, which we might not, which we might do. Um, they'd probably be probably good to do as well. Yeah. I do want to liberalize the party. I kind of want to go down that route. They would like to play as Trump twice in the end. One time with this side, one time with that side. I don't know, I might just go with end the treading. Come more libertarian, maybe? Or we can go down the center. Oh, let's see, I'll, I'll keep it on these policies first, though. So. Um, what is this? I can help populism resurrect the dream. Academic reboot. America was once a land of the great promise where man for the most horror poverty could come, make a living, and find success. This is an America that was lost, but not anymore. We work to bring back the opportunities that made America a nation that made so many dreams come true. Through new work programs, grants, and the legal economic reforms, the people will once again find a clear path to success. When we resurrect the American dream, we'll be certain that America has been made great again. So, let's see how we do. You know? I don't understand why we had so many problems against the Patriot Front when these guys are so... Yeah, well, they have, the Patriot Front has so many freaking bots, it's not funny. They just get handed free bots, which I'm sure this is going to be very difficult when I play as them. I'm sure when I ever play as them, I'll be like, wow, this is really, really freaking hard. It's not fun. But, these guys have like no divisions. How did the Patriot Front struggle against these guys? Yeah. It's like one on one. I mean, look at that. I don't know. Things I guess should be tweaked out maybe a little more, but I mean, pfft. that compared to the, that was nothing compared to the Patriot Front. Absolutely nothing. Uh huh. Now, that being said, I still want to core things we can, but we still, oh, we're integrated Virginia and South Carolina, so we're going to start there first. Uh, I think we'll be okay with closing this one out, I don't really, really need to see that. We'll be okay with closing out this one, maybe two, we get war for this, uh-huh. Got a lot of garrison soldiers. Alright, so that being said, we actually have a little bit of advantage here. I'm going to war with Texas, the Navajo, State of New Mexico, or Northwestern Red Army. We have basically no point to get in there. We're going to start going through, I guess, through Texas first, I suppose. Let's see how badly we're going to get beat up by Texas. Also, I guess what could have helped is I also edited these divisions too. So now you guys are 42 combat, two, 42 combat width. I'm not sure this is optimal to use. We're using four APCs and six main battle tank divisions with tank companies, engineers, and maintenance. Hopefully that actually did something here. Speed's not good though. Um, so what I'm gonna do to increase our speed? Because armor brigades. Uh, just that, then there. I also added the strike, or the, not the strike of the brigades, but the infantry. So now they're four to come with, with as well. Four infantry fighting vehicles, four self-propelled, and four motorized, which motorized is okay. I don't want, I don't want to get rid of these for like APCs. Uh, yeah. For mechanized actually. APCs are okay. Got 10 more defense. That gives you less defense. Gives you less breakthrough over here, though. This gives you more hardness. This has more soft attack. Uh, actually, because this is our, what we got right now. We got a ton of motorized. Uh, self propelled. Armor personnel carriers, 900 some odd units of that. APCs, armor personnel carriers, or mechanized. Oh, we have the army XP for it, so why not? We're going to war with Texas next. And then we'll go to war with New Mexico. And we've been, like I said, trying to build more of an air force. We still have plenty of planes. This military development increases. That's good. Oh, 
And we have a sub. John Taylor. Let's see what you can do here. Reintegrating Ohio would be probably a very good thing to do as well. There you go. Now let's see what happens. And we are immediately in. And literally don't have an issue taking out the divisions. Eh, for the most part. I mean, look at that. Yeah, the, the Patriot Front needs... Hmm... More love and I'll put it like that. Resurrect the dream. I mean, look at that. I mean, it's super easy right now. Guys, you want Houston? No? Come on. Brigades. And then what? Real, uh, revitalize forgotten communities. The deindustrialization de of America and the concentration of wealth and liberal causal cities have wreaked havoc on many hardworking American communities. We'll spare no time addressing this grave injustice inflicted upon American society. Communities and locales that are both economically struggling and receive inst investment and job opportunities from both the state and private enterprises they will partner with. When the left bank communities finally receive good paying jobs and a sense of economic security, they'll begin to thrive as, as all of American society should be thriving. Oh, um, here, do that. It's fine. We need more steel. What is this? Advanced light tanks? Oh. Recon tank stuff, huh? Uh, speed, reliability. Let's see first. Special modules. Low wall compartment. Secondary turret. And extra armor. Sure. Gen 3. Gasoline, turbine, gas. Good enough. Gen 4 light tanks, huh? So we've not done anything. I guess we just need to get some people in. Michigan in. I guess Chicanos are next. Something happened there about Albuquerque. Encountering a little bit more resistance. But something that we can't handle. Too, so I must keep going in then. State of Arizona. By Navajo Nation to Denver government. Hey, there are allies now too. Look at that. Nice. I'm gonna go to Yuma. Look at that. Then see, yeah, why not? 
Red Bull Air Roars. Hello? Uh, yeah, Arizona, get out of our way. How dare you? Exception all American banking system. America's banking system is dominated by a lot of foreign owned and even operated banks who have a lot of influence on our economy. It's time to end this embarrassing situation. We'll establish a new banking system that favors heavily American owned and operated banks or foreign ones. Along with this, we'll enact new regulations that target foreign banks and make it hard for them to establish financial hegemony over our country. America's money should only be in the hands of Americans and nobody else's. Crush a Federal Reserve. Oh, but if we want to go down if I want to go down this route. We, yeah, yeah. Federal Reserve was one of the most blatant examples of federal government overreach in the American economy. However, after today, <clears throat> no longer be so intrusive into the economic activities uh, of this country. Under new executive orders and reforms, uh, the Federal Reserve will be swiftly downsized and stripped of their power. This will not be hidden. We'll have to remain regulated and restructured into oblivion. Disables the signing interest rate laws. Well, I guess I should have done this one. East taxpayer burdens. If we want to go down this way, fiscal responsibility. Oh well. Maybe next time. We'll see. Tucson. There we go. Military factories doesn't mean the resources for them. We know we're mechanized now. Mechanized. Two. Use more steel. What do we got here? There you go. So, who are you fighting? Zionists. Pretty much everyone around here. If that's the case, you know what? I'm going to pull you out. Generic kind of front type of guy. Restructuring ourselves would be good. Oh, he is here. It's probably a bad idea for you guys to be here, or whatever. Hello. Revitalize the forgotten communities. That'd be great. Promote economic populism or patriotism. An important area that Americans can show some patriotism is through their wallets. We'll begin publicly advocating for all Americans to only do business with American enterprises. Why should citizens who live in a nation as bountiful and rich as America need to do business with anyone else? Whether it be buying, selling, or investing, citizens and firms should show some patriotic loyalty to the country over destructive impulses to go with foreigners. It actually probably be some resource efficiency gain. There you go. 14 days. And continue to integrate more and more states. We're building more and more and more too, which is actually really nice. Is this up GDP at all? I doubt it, but we'll see. Pennsylvania. Good enough for now. Uh, you know what? Keep building some civvies too. I like the civvies. Make us money. Some sort of money at least. 
Anything else we really do here? Oh, I'll get all the stuff we can do now. Secure the skies. Physical strikes. Air experience gain. Division organization regained. Doesn't really matter as much. National fury. Supply consumption. Militia attack. Defense attack. Army XP gain wouldn't be bad still. Army XP gain. Monthly military development. But that costs uh, political power, which I don't want to use. We'll go with that one. Why not? Love it when the Navajo ally with Trump. So, there we go. Battle of the Pagan communities. Support rural farmers. We'll do that one next. As we reintegrate Connecticut. The rural farmer of the country is suffering from the worst neglect out of all demographics of the American population. Crushed by globalism, coastal elites, and imports by China, they have taken left, been left or right. This terrible neglect will enter under a watch. will immediately provide investment for modernized farming equipment, poverty relief, and expanded agricultural production. Once conditions for farmers improve dramatically, we can expect greater food security for the population, along with some long-awaited revitaliz revitalization of rural communities. Oh, I forgot to give you a guy here. There you go. You're actually really good on the attack. Look at that. There's literally no contest. Fighting the Patriot Front sucks. You might play them next, then. Let's see what they're like. I kind of want to wait and see what it's like if we fought these guys, if they unify, you know, this region to give us some sort of more struggle here. Because it's time to build ourselves up more and whatnot. Academic reboot? That would be bad to do, but we got to spend our political power trying to integrate all other states. We need a lot of political power. Happy 2026, everybody. Well, this is looking better overall. Too bad we don't have anything here. We can do that one now. Support rural farmers. End green tyranny. Remove oil crisis. That'd be good to do. Embrace the future of energy. Um, downsize bureaucracy. Fan American values. Okay, I don't go this one next. The bureaucracy of left on Chuck would have greater consequences for a democ democratic way of governance. Let's cut the excess fat so that avoid repeating the same mistakes from before. I guess we can do some stuff too. Trial the traitors. In the life of fight for America, we have come across many Americans who claim to be fighting for freedom and the nation's salvation, but we have swiftly learned that they are the total opposite. Many of the so-called patriots are traitors, opportunists, liars, and fanatics of disgusting ideologies that have no place in this country. Now it's the time to enact justice on these disgusting traitors of America. Let be put on trial, judge for their criminal actions against this nation and its people, and be punished accordingly. Even though we do not have all those traitors in this country in our custody now, the ones we do have now will know justice for all the crimes, and also the National Guard. The National Guard of this country has proven themselves throughout American history to be a capable force in defending domestic peace and tranquility. In these turbulent times, 
we find ourselves in where war, civil unrest, rioting, crime, and other acts of domestic terror rock our entire society. The National Guard can serve as another F F effective force to secure order. We'll begin investing more manpower, funds, training, and equipment into our National Guard units, fighting both at the front and securing at home. With the bolster of the National Guard, we can consider the terror and anarchy that have recently struck American society to be a permanent thing of the past. We're going to downsize it. So I apologize we're not going down the center route. I, I really want to go down this this uh, other route that we've got going for us right now. What am I making here? Oh, this is just infantry. This is actual infantry. What do you guys? Ending the treading. Unify the loyalists. Stabilize the remnants. That's what we get to do. Billion, huh? Debt payments, not good. We need more money. Of course, coring stuff does help out too. I might go to high taxes though, which would suck, but we kind of need it. Mediate with the military. The military is essential for the security and survival of America, and it's best to get uh, have them support us, even if it's disregarding some of the concerns of Congress. I'm gonna go with uh what is this? Oh, we're only in early mobile. Huh? Partial mobile can't go any higher, okay. So alright, we'll probably go with high taxes for now. Sounds like something we shouldn't do, but that's okay. Yeah, they did go to basic training program. We were in relaxed, I think, for a while. Sorry, all, but we have to. We shouldn't go up on the Ukrainian border. What else is new? Need that. Yeah. Makes sense. Yep. Appeal to order. Probably get American exceptionalism. America is quite a unique nation with its unique history. It's more than just a typical nation that exists on Earth. We must encourage people in the next coming generations to embrace and cherish American ways of living. We'll go with that one for now. But, embrace of energy of the future. It's pretty libertarian to go here. And green tyranny. There's that. Go with embrace the energy of the future. As much as we feel complacent with the current makeup of our energy sector, we must recognize that the modern world we currently live in is moving faster than our pride and nostalgia. With new advancements in the energy sector promising a lot of benefits that could be used to great effect, new breakthroughs that have been pioneered by American firms and scientists in areas like nuclear, geothermal, and solar energy are ripe for implementation and exploitation. We should waste no time immediately grant funding and support for the new energy projects that utilize these new technologies. America is the land of innovation and progress and will continue to fulfill this age old promise with embracing the new energy technologies of the future. Nice. Come on, I want someone to win here. Besides us. Oops, I can't survive in the green. That would be bad to do. I'm 
50% balance with the military. I think we'll be okay for now. Quantum supremacy. We're suffering any sort of supply issues here, anything sort of issues at all. No. The infantry brigades that I like. Retro organization which I, I don't like. silos. Well, I guess we're going to go to nuclear reactors. More 40% building slots, resources, factory output, construction speed. High construction costs. And we'll be able to build energy farms and power plants in this place. It takes so much to build. Holy cow. I guess we probably build it in this part of Oklahoma. Maybe. There's four, three. Oh, there's six here you can build in. No, I'll build in Ohio. I'll see what happens. Russia invades Ukraine. I don't know if everyone saw that one going on. What's going on here? Ah, uh, Russians. Oh, we're still fighting them here? Is that why we're still at war? Oh. All bad. I wonder why we we're still at war. And now we know why. Arizona, Southern Texas, Normal Texas. Are we there yet? Oh, well, that of Albuquerque. There you go. How have you not won this war yet? You literally have no stability. Chinese military advisors. You intervenes. European war. Louisiana. Keep building. Trading the economy. Oh, we have no inflation. Look at that. So that's good. Ooh, did jet, jet debt go down? Developed state. Oh, move to infrastructure. Changes into a large suburb. Oh, huh. that's interesting. Nice. The best is yet to come. We've worked so hard and come so far in a battle for taking this country, but it's not in here. There's so much more ahead of us in, in a quest to make America great again. As much as we want to stop now, there's so much to continue fighting and struggling for. Our enemies even now continue their efforts to destroy America and the Patriots defending it, but they'll not stop us. As President Trump once said, the best is yet to come. Oh, you know, this is last nice. Oh, God. Ukraine is just getting smoked. Alabama. They are just dying there. Um... Oversee the officers. As much as the common enlisted man is important on the front lines, we cannot forget that our officers also serve an important role in the grander fight for victory. Look at that. That's why we conduct uh, uh, their conduct and loyalty must be a point of intense scrutiny. From here on, on, officers and armed forces will be held to a higher standard in everything from their training to their sentiments on our leadership and cause. We will not tolerate incompetence, conspiracy, and treason among those who have been entrusted to lead our forces to victory in the battlefield. Uh, let's put order first. Our enemies like to rebel and take advantage of chaos in order to bring down America from within. It is crucial to us that we must appeal to law and order so we can quell every sycophant whose only goal is to sow the seeds of chaos and anarchy. Very good, look at that. Ah, very good. Ukrainian Soviet Socialist Republic, Novorossian Soviet Socialist Republic. 
Yeah. How's uh, Aisha doing? They're not killing each other yet. I'm sure they will. Hey, debt's going down, which is nice. Effects, versus effects from a current debt, more stability. We're actually making 62 billion per month, which is nice. Personal value factor, military upkeep factor, dockyard upkeep, personal expenses. Off spark them out. I guess I'm volunteered, but I don't know if you like it. Georgia. Best is yet to come. Are you done yet over here? I don't understand how, many, how you can mobilize all these people and not be close to doing anything here. You're out of stuff. You're both out of stuff. It's not very surprising. Nice. I'm gonna appeal to order next. Appeal gain is okay. Do we want New Jersey? I'm gonna choose Florida over New Jersey for now. <coughs> Could secure the party. Unite the loyalists. Oversee the officers. Stabilize the remnants. As, Mo as America slowly falls. Either. Uh, to the senior geezer in the White House, the communist, fascist, anarchist, or even separatists, we need to first focus on fortifying and forcing the states that are still loyal to our government. It's true, too. Uh, academic development increases, too. Pretty good. <clears throat> Unify the loyalists. One thing that matters is that we need to rally the people that support us in order to save America. Empower the executive branch. We can do that as well. Because we don't have to be around this way. So you can go either side, can you? Uh, you can still do this one, technically, so. I'll <coughs> uh, well, stabilize it first. You can also minimize militias. Ooh. You can do this one. You get more daily political power as well. The executive branch is the most important part of this government's ability to ex execute its decisions. Along with the president himself, a variety of other officers and other officials work with them to make sure policy is implemented and directed correctly. As we are a mid Greek crisis, we need the executive branch to have all the tools available to lead us to victory. Henceforth, new powers and authority are able to be granted uh, to the executive branch, along with the reduction of oversight from Congress and the courts. The empowered executive branch will finally have the leadership and decision-making capacity to lead us to victory. And then, I guess we have end the treading as well. Don't shoot at me, that was with the battle cries of the American revolutionaries in the fight against the tyrannical British Empire. But it was more than that, just a battle cry. It was a warning to all politicians and leaders of all colors and creeds that liberty is not to be trifled with. We'll fulfill this traditional American aspiration by scaling back a lot of government intervention in areas of society and the economy that have caused so many issues for freedom-loving Americans. Let's see defend freedom, not trade on it, like our treasonous and socialist enemies. Rand Paul. Cool. You know, let's go ahead and go with that one first. Eh. Pierre Navarro. He's a pretty good guy, too. I'm going to grab you first. Yeah. Oh, they actually broke through the lines. I was about to go to war them. Battle of Bucharest. War is going to go really poorly for them. That's fine. Whatever. No one cares, though. I guess if we have to have New Jersey back. Fine. Construction costs. Actually, construction costs goes up with civilian factory levels. Wow, that's not good. Office park. But one of you. Four of you, I guess. Put two of you there, too. Trading economy. Easing. In, uh... There you go. We actually have some spare money. Look at that. Maybe I lied. Maybe I do want to go to war as fast as I can, because it's boring. Get up there. Do you have any other planes now, maybe? No, got quite a few attack helicopters. That's nice.
New Hampshire. Hello, Krakow. Up oh, and the war's over for Europe. Gora formation of the Soviet Union. Good job, guys. Hello, come on. No. Well, as soon as we're done with that, we'll go in there too. Liberalism Party, the Republican Party is throughout American history a party for liberty and individualism. We need to live up to this glorious heritage. We'll further emphasize the importance of free enterprise, individual economic freedoms, and minimal government and party policy. Our program lets to be about securing America from trees and sluts and other traders, but also securing freedoms for all Americans. Now is the time to live up to the principles of the founding fathers and prior to the importance of individual over the state. Trump's libertarianism. Interesting. Get in there at least. You know, first. It's fine. Um, no, no, sir. Um, maneuver warfare? Yeah, why not? There we go. Now we're going in. Don't understand why, uh, you said it'd be so difficult. Executive power. Really don't. Yeah, it'd be so difficult. Call up Western Reserves? Well, I don't think we need to do that now at this point. Can yucky tucky? Great government of a throne. Nah, uh, I think we'll be okay. Oh, they do. There is mixed air. I didn't even a contest. What other routes there are after this one? Look at this. Even with not great error, we're still doing okay ish down here. Yeah, we're approaching San Diego. Ah, oh, there goes NATO. Gas in the Middle East. That's not good. Minimize militias. Well, the militia is perfectly loyal to our cause. They would sometimes disobey orders coming from the military out of some ideological conviction. So now for us to put down the leech on them in order to prevent them happening with their ability to fight. We're playing both sides. Violence. Catalan Revolution. Iberian Peninsula is on fire. March on Rome.
Now they have North Koreans up in the motto. People's Militia. Spirit of the Marine Corps. Special Officer Corps. Motorization probably would have done better earlier, but whatever. Planning speed. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter now. Bold attack. German president assassinated, wow. Doctor Innovation Experience Gain. Yeah, I'll get that one, why not? We're gonna liberalize the party finally. Yeah, we're taking longer here and struggling more than I thought we would, but that's okay. Lost state. Hello? Contractual gag orders. Oh, it was Palestine. Military coup. Ah, the military coup in Germany. Day X. Look at that. French General's lost coup. We lost Austin? I don't know if that's the right Austin, though. Obviously, the Oscars. Oh god. France has completely killed itself. Holy cow, look at that. French Republic's getting it taken out. Wow. German People's Republic. Oh, also serving separate the Third Republic of Bavaria. Italian Social Republic. Oh, it's looking pretty good now. There you go, look at that. Beautiful. Come on. Wow. Can you hurry up? You have thousands of other people here that are going to kill you. You bunch of ignoramuses. Uh, let's go. Unify the loyalists? That'd be good. I wonder if we can get here in time. I'm gonna use this. I guess I did. My bad. It's my fault for that. There we go. So, do we have any other ending events here? Or. Ah, uh, Reboot Intelligentsia. Army XP, oh wow, that's quite a bit, holy cow. So, after this, do we have anything else? Are we worth anybody? There's Mexico, but 
Yes, no, maybe so. Ah, I know what I didn't do. Reintegrate New Mexico. Reunify America. And all of the familiar flag is raised above Scar Nation. Many wish to see American ruins forever, and angry mobs stomping on the face of freedom forever. And with their nation in great danger, and our families in the crosshairs of the enemy, we have no choice but to take the fight to them. America's a beautiful country, and America is perhaps one of the greatest people on this earth. We survive, and we thrive in times of chaos. This war has taken a lot from us. Too many parents have to bury their children. We pulled America out of the depths, ensuring neither the deep state nor the terrorists would ever touch our homes again. America's back, but this time it's changed forever. A scar that will never go away. With the enemies gone and our neighbors being able to love one another again, we will rebuild our ruined cities, which will be restored to the glory. Veterans will be honored. Past mistakes will be corrected. Miracles great, and it will be great again. What separates the winners from the losers is how a person reacts to each new twist of fate. Whoa. So I remember like this Joe Biden route. Okay, so we're back in business. Oh, America first. The giant awakes. Uh, stability, giant awakes. Oh, this is kind of similar to what we did saw before. Which I think we'll do next time and see what happens. Um, I'll get those options here. Oh. Oh! Oh, so you can't do minimize militias and then do this one. I did not realize that. That is my fault. Oopsie. Uh huh. Donald Trump victorious in the American Civil War. Today in the White House, Rose Garland, Donald Trump announced to all America in capitulation of the remaining free forces, opposed his presidency. Having been sworn in as the president upon his announcement, President Trump's inauguration speech did little calm the tensions that still infested the American psyche. Surrounded by his closest advisors and the military high command, the president announced to both America and the world that today, after a long and gruesome battle, democracy is once again triumph. The mindless thugs of Antifa and various other radical left factions had attempted to steal this election. However, unfortunately, it's unsuccessful. I think the Brady's Brave state governors are upholding the Constitution and thank all American citizens for arming themselves against this menace and defending democracy. My legitimate administration has now begun to work to ensure that America will never be divided again. God bless all. God bless America. With President Trump now focusing on rebuilding his fractured country, the international community looks on a weakened America and sees that for the first time in nearly a century, the U.S. is no longer the global hegemony on the world stage, leading to many other wonder who a successor will be. Never again will they harm America. Look at this. In the end, you're measured not by how much you understood to take, but by what you finally accomplish. Donald Trump. And you can see where this is from because of how young Baron is. America can be great again. Which is great. So then that should unlock that focus down there, right? Well, this should. But we'll see in the next episode, hopefully. If you enjoyed the video, please consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I will see you tomorrow. I'll see what happens to Europe. And what else we can do with Donald Trump. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.